Hello everyone, Sarah and Talia doing our weekly report. Now we actually have some special guests today. We've got Christy and Anne with us today. So thank you girls for joining us. I know it's always a little bit nerve wracking when you've got to come and talk to the camera. So thank you so much. Um, we thought we'd have the girls here today so we could ask them some commonly asked questions that they actually get asked um, in the mortgage broking world. Yeah, we like to do these um, to give you guys a bit of info. And so let's get started. Um, Anne, could you tell people what is the minimum deposit that they would need? Well, it's normally 5% of the purchase price, yes. the normal requirement, um, saved over a period of three months. Yes. However, there are many other options around this. You don't always have to come up with the 5% deposit. Yes. Um, there's options using parents as guarantors. Um, if you're currently renting through a real estate agent, six months rental history yes. gets you across the line for your genuine savings. Yep. As long as you can come up with a shortfall of funds to meet the loan yep. and also your government costs, yep. um, you're normally covered from there. Um, so Christy, I've got a question for you. Why would I go to a broker instead of my bank? Well, first of all, because we're fabulous. Yes, <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> um, but obviously a lot of people are really time poor these days. Mm, yep. So going trying to shop around with all different banks and credit unions, it's, it's time consuming. Um, we have approximately 30 plus lenders um, on our panel that we can look at. So we can make sure that we offer the best, the best loan, the best deal that's out there for you and your personal circumstances. This is a question that Talia and I get asked all the time, but is the first homeowners grant still available? <laughs> yes, it is, and people, there's a lot of confusion around this because mm. people think it's out there for everybody, which it's not now, it used to be. Um, but first home buyers is still available, uh, the amount of $15,000 for people that are building new homes. Mm. And also, if you're buying a new home that's not being lived in, say a house and land package that's built but no one has lived in it, yeah. it's also considered as a new purchase. So it's still awesome. available to those sort of clients. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, great. Mm. Um, another question is, does it cost money to come and see you? So I think you get asked that a fair bit as well. We do, we yep. certainly do. But no, it's absolutely free to come and see Anna and myself. What we do for you is... Uh, collect all of your information, do the loan submission and follow it all the way through until you're at your settlement and it's completely free of charge the entire process. We are paid on a commission basis from the actual lender themselves and that's all fully disclosed in our interview process yeah. and how it all works. But yeah, so all the worry is taken out of your hands. Yeah, that's awesome. And um, how do I go about getting a loan? What's the process? Well, first of all, call us, make an appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for your phone calls. Um, then from then on, we basically have a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Um, normally, it's good to bring along some documents with you for the first appointment just to run through some figures. So which documents do you mean? Um, normally, a couple of pay slips, um, yep. some identification. Um, also, if we're looking at a refinance, we would need copies of rates, notices and things like yep. that so we can get the security value of your other properties. Of course. We do all the legwork for you from then on in, basically. We, you know, contact real estate agents, conveyances and all that and say, take the worry away from yeah, you. Which is great and what you need when you're doing such a big investment. We just like to take the worry out of it for the clients, really. And at yeah. the end of the day, customer service, that's what wins in the end. Yeah, yeah. and definitely you ladies give that here. We've had a number of clients that have used your services before and have really loved it. So if you want to know any more, please don't hesitate to contact ourselves or the ladies here at Willow Financial financial services. I'd love to help you. Um, and we hope you've enjoyed today's weekly report. Thank you. Thank you.